Hi, my name is Elaine Hardy. I'm a family nurse practitioner from Hackettstown, New Jersey, and here I have a family practice where I take care of children and adults with various complaints. I'd like to talk to you today about the Great Plains Laboratory organic acid test that I order frequently for a lot of my patients. Um, we find that um, the organic acid test really shows us what's going on at more of a metabolic level for a lot of patients. When we're looking for things like yeast or bacterial overgrowth and looking for the metabolites that yeast and bacteria produce, we find those things in the urine. Um, so if we think that someone has a GI tract overgrowth of yeast or bacteria, we can find those compounds in the urine. Um, I like to also order that testing when I feel that someone maybe isn't metabolizing or utilizing certain vitamins well, especially patients who have any psychiatric or OCD, uh, Tourette's type of things. Um, B12 and B6 are very important to the production of certain neurotransmitters. Um, and we're finding that uh, in the urine we can measure accurate levels of how the body is utilizing B6 and B12. Um, also amino acids can be tested through there. So again, if I have someone who I'm thinking may have a need for some additional amino acids to help brain function, I will utilize that test. Um, and all of those things are tested in that one test. Markers for neurotransmitters, markers for certain vitamins, even vitamin C and pantothenic acid. So it gives us a really good look, again, from a metabolic view as to, I always say to my patients, uh, what could be irritating your brain? So whether it's an adult with chronic fatigue syndrome or a child with ADD, um, I want to know what does the brain need more of and what maybe is the brain getting too much of that it doesn't like, um, in the case of yeast, of course. Um, we do find that um, that can be used as a guide then to know what other nutrients that the person may need or things that we need to address um, without blindly just throwing a bunch of si supplements or vitamins at that person. Um, when we look at the results, that will help us to, to know exactly where the levels for, fall and which types of supplements we might want to use for that patient. Um, especially for yeast, which is a little bit controversial, but we are finding that in some patients, whether they have a lot of issues or not, sometimes we do find um, extra amounts of certain compounds in their urine that would point to an overgrowth of his intestinal yeast. And we're learning that those compounds can be somewhat of a neurological irritant for some people. So that helps to guide us with treatment if we're going to address a possible yeast overgrowth in the intestinal tract or not. Um, so I do find that there is a need for organic acid testing in various age groups, um, going down from a toddler with autism all the way up to an adult who has chronic fatigue syndrome and depression. Um, luckily with urine bags we can even bag a ch child who's not even potty trained yet so it's a very easy test to get. We usually collect the first morning urine and send that uh, testing into the lab so it really uh, helps us a lot. Um, and thank you for listening.